Where? Where, where am I? I can hear someone in the distance. Where? No, that's downwards. Ah! Oh. I don't know. I'm just uh, fooling around. Anyway, uh, so welcome back to another episode of Colony Survival. Um, instead of doing this really bad attempt at a joke, I should have been down in the mine and slaving away at getting the stone for our wall. So uh, let's be boring and do that for a second. Um, right now it's three wide, so let's, um, let's do this. Alright, we should do one over here as well. So if you wonder why I'm digging this one out at the end, it's, it's because so I can uh, see where I'm, where I'm supposed to end the line. So I don't have to uh, count or anything. Alright, cool. Um, that should be plenty. Hippity hop on the berry bush. Nice rhyme. All right, so let's uh, let's keep building. Um, I do want to build a sentry, like a sentry. Um, well, a turret, I guess it's it, it's the original meaning of a turret. I've uh, I've heard, um, but uh, a sentry tower where we can place some um, archers, which would be overlooking our village here. Honestly, it should just like be called... I mean, I get that the word colony gets the point across. It's a colony, you're colonizing and you're building it up from the beginning. But I think like medieval simulator or something would be a nicer name. But at the same time, what do I know? So as you can see, as you can see, uh, we are not overflowing in food, but we are getting enough and I think think we can okay so I think we've lost our our oven so we're gonna have to dig some unless 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 I mistook our oven for yeah I did we have an oven oven somewhere <laughs> one of our walls are gonna be an oven because um, Oops, sorry, because um, they look so similar in the taskbar, and um, and I accidentally placed it as a wall or possibly down here as something. Ah, oh, Christ! And the thing is, they look exactly like a wall as well. No, actually, I'm. I'm completely fooling myself. My bad. Then, uh, then it's just a bug. Uh, why, uh, why we can't see the oven in our inventory? A bug or a, a feature, I guess. Suppose uh, let's t dig one deeper in here. We don't really need to dig the whole row right now. We only need a little stone so that we can build another oven. And what I was gonna say is that we're gonna we're gonna um, hire a baker and uh, a miller. I guess. I suppose that's where the, the name comes from as well. Right, so uh, do we have enough beds? We do have enough beds, so let's recruit, recruit two guys here. Um, hi, my new new cult members. Welcome to the, the, the cult of uh, Snookerinos. Look, this guy is already going to town here on uh, making some flour, and this guy is waiting for having enough flour to do this. And this guy actually need um, fuel for the furnace as well, or the, the, the stove. And both coal and uh, wood works for that, uh, logs specifically. And we do have a, not, a lot of logs. So as you can see, they're now working and we're going to have a lot of food soon because uh, flour have no food um, value. Wheat have 0.4, so it's lower than, than berries and it's actually slower as well. 
And bread, well, hopefully it's going to get done soon so I can show you. But, yep, there it is. Uh, food value of three. So it's quite high. Shouldn't have done that in, a, uh, in the first place. But, uh, yeah, so now we're going to have a lot of food, hopefully. Um, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to mark out another another farm here let's make some distance maybe like that and hurry up for the zombies get here right like that and let's let's not hire a guy today let's hire him tomorrow uh, so that so that we don't spend a lot of food when they wake up tomorrow. I don't actually know when they eat during the day, but um, uh, we should be cautious about all that. Um, cool. It's quite straightforward to kill people as of right now. Um, you you kind of just thrust out your. Um, your pelvis and an arrow shoots out from your groin like this and sometimes you hit and occasionally occasionally you have babies with a with the monsters but that's fine um that is perfectly fine at this rate i should get like a t-shirt or something that just says say it's fine on because that seemed to be my uh, go-to uh, phrase here Anyway, um, if you're wondering why I'm not digging more stone or rocks at the moment, it's because in a day or two we are going to automate that whole process anyway, so there's no real reason for me, um, unless I want to be really studious, to go down and uh, cut the stone myself. So I'm just simply going to wait it out, possibly go cutting some in the morning. Um, oh Christ when we have nothing else to do anyway. So, uh, this game is also very Minecrafty in that um, the um, light radius actually penetrates blocks. Uh, I suppose this isn't supposed to be this way, or there's actually supposed to be uh, like a, um, like a little string of uh, open space between these blocks here, uh, and the light is actually supposed to shine through. If that's the case, that's really, really very cool, uh, admittedly. But if it isn't, then that's cool as well. Uh, but maybe they'll they'll fix that in the future. And as you can see, they, they are they they are getting getting quite numerous at the moment, and this is going to be an issue for our archers eventually. And because of that, we're going to have to hire another one. We're just going to take a look at our arrow storage, which we can do. That's another another thing they added in the late, latest update: the amount of arrows in the top right corner before you had to check your inventory. But anyway, uh, 240 is going to last us another at least five or six nights, so it should be all right. And uh, and I think I've uh, gotten the, um, the resource management down a bit better than I did in my test run. Um, and of course, I, I haven't lost any, any villagers this time around, so I suppose that should help with the efficiency a little bit. Christ, just die as well and the sun is rising the moon is setting if there's such a, such a thing and there, there's it's soon gonna be a new day and nine minutes have passed on the video so we're most likely gonna uh, have time for another at least one other night i'm gonna try to uh, uh, stick to about two nights per video or something like that um Two or, two or three, whichever gets closer to 20 minutes. Gonna have a look at that. So yeah, uh, goodbye, dear, uh, dear monsters. See you tomorrow. Okay, so as I said, I might as well... I might as well... Uh, well, first of all, I suppose we should... Wait a couple of seconds before the, we hire the new guy. Just wait so that we get a, a little bit of food. And now we got a little bit of food, so let's create another guy which we're gonna walk over to the wheat field and get that thing running. 
And as you can see, even though we have some wheat and this guy is uh, milling it down, um, it's gonna uh, be depleted quite quickly. And for that, we're gonna need more wheat farmers. I, I counted it to about three or four um, full field wheat farmers per or a pair of bakers and millers so that's most likely gonna be the optimal the optimal approach in the future but uh, I'm gonna hold keep an eye on it so that we can um, optimize it somewhat and since the wheat farms I'm gonna show you and walk over there when I talk about them since the wheat farms grow during the last moment of night anyway, it doesn't really matter when during the day the crops are planted and for that reason I don't really think we need an opening here because say they are fully grown um, and fully matured, the, the crops. Then our guys gonna walk out there, they're gonna um, reap everything, they're gonna deliver it to the box and they're gonna re-sow it and they can easily do that within a day when the box is there. and. Then they're gonna stand there all day, like this guy is doing. So it doesn't really matter that they are a bit late to the fields because they are gonna manage to do everything anyway. Just like this guy. This guy, is, I mean, I hired him like um, just before lunch, about, and he's still gonna manage to uh, plant his whole field before uh, nightfall. So, not really a word there, I think. Now the tough part, or maybe not tough, but um, what, I, what I need to watch out for is uh, lining these two up. And then when I've done that, I'm gonna place um, an opening about here, I think, because it'll be a nice little road here, or maybe here, and we can move this, st this stuff, and we'll have a road right next to the berry garden, and uh, it'll line up with the house decently enough. And then we can also have um, well, we will have the mine here, and then we could maybe have the square over here, or build a barrack, or maybe the center tower. I was talking about something, something like that. So, right, right now in the game, um, what you need buildings for are mainly you don't even need buildings te technically speaking. You only need a wall, but you need, you need barracks essentially uh, for these guys to live in, and it, this is very high roofed, um, very high ceiling, um, and you need. And places for your arrows to be and if you want to be a bit more arbitrary or exp extensive you kind of need buildings for every profession as well so you can build a house for all the millers a house for all the the bakers so a bakery uh, a mill even though it's a manual mill but still and then like uh, a crafter a crafter hut and stuff like that but after you've done all that it's mainly about simply sizing up so you you simply have to replicate everything again and again and again and it doesn't at, at a point you reach a point when there's no real reason to keep expanding because your whole chain uh, production chain is um, effectivized enough that you get enough iron to um, and wood to create arrows and you get enough hey you could build an arboretum over here uh, a forestry place um sorry um and you get enough food to feed everyone and the monsters simply can't get in your walls because they, even though they have huge amount of numbers, your archers are simply always going to be quicker, or uh, at least effective enough to kill them. Hi guy. Hey, never thought about it, but everyone seem kind of looks like uh, they're from Canada, from South Park. Hmm. Suppose I suppose I suppose we can make a make a theme out of that. Like, unfortunately, you can't Im put images yet, but I, I could have put like a, a maple leaf here or something. Um, ah, a colony should be called the maple leaves. That's the nest colony. Keep that. Uh, keep that in mind. If I if I forget, someone will have to uh, remind me on uh, in the comments. So anyway, I'm just um, walking around here anyway. Let's uh, get down. And dig some. Uh, so here's, here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna go the whole way around. Plus 
this game needs as well is uh, some music, definitely. And saying that, maybe I should, I'm probably gonna be thinking about this a little bit and I forgot it for today's um, recording, but I'm probably gonna add some um, some music, copyright free music uh, to the game so we can listen to some, I guess like Mozart or something, maybe some jazz. Um, taking some inspiration from <clears throat> the big guy on that, um, the big guy, the best guy, but probably something because I like talking, but um, and hopefully you like listening to me, my rantings, my incessant need to plan everything out in detail three decades before it's needed, but um, it's also nice to have some music in the background and I can uh, Relax my uh, my vocal cords a little bit and uh, stuff like that. But uh, as I said, I'm uh, thinking of doing uh, rec recording some PUBG. So if anyone is interested in that, I would like would appreciate if you uh, like maybe um, like this video or otherwise just let me know so that I, so that I know uh, if you want to see uh, some PUBG. I'm pretty decent at it, um, which is a easy thing to say before you actually show off how good you are, but um, I think I'm pretty decent at it. Right, so we're gonna, we're gonna leave one space here and then we wanna have a three, uh, three wide and then we're gonna And we had enough. So finally our wall is done. Um, so let's um, pimp it out a little bit. Look, it's gonna look like shit anyway, but... Probably gonna have to eat some bread after this. Um, Christ. Something like that. Looks alright, right? Like signs would be really cool to have in game now. Then I can um, I could put the the colonial maple leaves or whatever. Uh, welcome to and so on. Oh Christ! <laughs> you actually scared me a little bit here. And okay, so we're up to eighteen minutes. I'm gonna. Finish this night as well, and then we're gonna end the episode after it. Can't use bow, um, so we do need to take some some arrows from this, these guys. Yeah. Next. What I'm doing here is um, I'm just experimenting right now, but we could put like pill boxes here, which um, if we do it like this, almost like tall booths. Uh, in which we can place um, sentries here, which we could just shoot out here and shoot out here, and it would probably be enough. But we could also move up our um, our other archers up here so that they um, have a chance at uh, laying in some supportive fire if needed. So that's probably what we're gonna do next night. At least move up these two guys up to this point, probably in this point, and then in the future we're also gonna build a, a wall here, uh, a gate, a, a proper gate. I mean. And yeah, that looks pretty good. And uh, now, since we are fun funneling all the enemies through here, our um, our sentries are most likely not going to have any issue at all dealing with this. And just as in Minecraft, I'm comparing this a lot to Minecraft, but you're going to have to understand that considering, I mean, it's quite quite similar in a lot of regards. Um, just like Minecraft, you can uh, nerd pole, pole. Simply jumping and placing blocks on you. A good... Uh, an old classic for um, for all the Minecrafters all the, out there. <clears throat> right, so sure, let's take a stock over the kind of like the viewpoint. Uh, let's take a stock of all the food we've got. We've got an um, hey, let's place a torch here, maybe. Sure. 
The mine looks really cool from here, actually. Um, I think our guys gonna be able to deal with the monsters. Hopefully, we'll uh, we'll see. Um, anyway, so food stock, we have um, 150 give or take. So we have uh, and we use about 55. So that that should mean we are going with our surplus, and we've actually ma managed to. Um, <clears throat> sorry about that. We've actually managed to fix the fields so that one field grow every other day, which should be a nice input for our millers and bakers. If we take a look at our inventory, we have zero grain um, or wheat from um, from the fields, but we do have some flour so we can create some bread. So yeah, I think another field or two should uh, be good to um, effectivize the output or make, it, make the whole chain a bit more productive. Anyway, so I'm gonna end it here as soon as this attack is over. And I, I kind of I kinda like all this. I mean, you have... Um, theoretically, you could dig into the mountain. And as I said, that, say that I really want to dig into the mountain and create like a fortress in there. Um, so we might do that later on. And now as I look down on our courtyard here, I realize how much it looks like a graveyard with a with the whole entry point and these these things like, that looks like uh, graves and so on. But <laughs> And this looks like a tomb. So I suppose it should be the the tumble maple leaves. Um, no. Um, so yeah. Anyway, yes, I was gonna end the episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, as I said last time, I'm having a lot of fun with this. And if you want to give me inspiration or um, ideas to what I should do next, please uh, send it in. I appreciate all feedback as such. And yeah, I love you all. Please leave a like if you want to see more of this or if you want to see more of me. We just want to show your support, leave a comment. As I said, if you have something to contribute with or just want to leave a lol when I fuck up or something. Uh, and um, leave a dislike if you don't want to. And this is becoming a very long intro, outro. Subscribe if you please, because I love you if you do. All right, cool. See you later. Bye.